First of all, I think there's a lot of external factors that are influencing the consumer confidence in buying a vehicle in general. It can be the inflation and it can be the lower purchase power that consumers have, but also external uh, political conflicts which have a really big influence on, for example, the cost of fuel or the price of electricity. And of course, this has a high influence on consumer demand. The gap difference between electrical vehicles and combustion is decreasing, but however, um, overall they remain more expensive and consumers are not educated well on the fact that they can then make savings on the maintenance of the car and the total cost of ownership. We might also think that with the new tariff on the Chinese OEM, it will have an impact on the most accessible and EVs in the entry level point. So this can also negatively influence the demand. There's also a big fear around uh, the residual value of electrical vehicle. So consumers observe that the price of new electrical cars have decreased and therefore they fear that when they want to resell the car in a couple of years, the value won't be as good as what they could have expected. And that can also be an observation why we see that there is growing demand for leasing ownership or subscriptions or even for used more than for new vehicles. And overall, of course, the German government decision to cut the subsidy has had a drastic impact on the demand. And we've also observed that already in 2023. So every time that the government decreased the subsidies and now they've completely shut it down, it had, of course, a negative impact on the consumers. And also because consumers believe and trust the government, right? So if they see that there is no further efforts or further support into it, then they are going to lose trust in the vehicle. Um, and they are not going to be so eager to, to shift vehicle type. So the technology also has had a negative influence on the consumers. Uh, although we've, had, we've perceived a lot of technology improvements, but at the end of the day, all these changes in the battery, in the functioning, even in the charging, brings a lot of uncertainty in, in the consumers. And they also believe that maybe their vehicle is going to be obsolete if, like in a couple of years, we have a complete new technology. So, of course, this decreases the confidence um, that the consumer have in buying an electrical vehicle. And same goes for the battery. So when they see battery improvements, um, they fear that um, the battery that they've had uh, won't be so efficient in the next years. They always want the latest technology. We also see that there is a problem in the range anxiety. So even though the technology has improved a lot and electrical vehicles can drive much further, consumers still believe that they're not going to be able to fulfill their needs. And that comes together with um, the lack of charging infrastructure. So in the next six to 12 months coming, we can for sure still expect that the demand for electrical vehicles will continue to decline. The reasons are still the same, right? Price dropping, technology is still improving. So consumers waiting until they make the move. However, at the same time that demand will continue to decline, we can really expect that uh, there will be further technological improvement with hopefully a stabilization of the market. We can also expect that there will be further harmonizations between the manufacturers, for example, on the battery state of health, so that consumers can really access one single type of data and really understand the market better. We can also expect that uh, the infrastructure will continue to grow and to be developed to cover the entire country. And all these factors will hopefully in the long run further um, push the demand, which will peak again. And at least on the commercial side, it will for sure continue to increase because having electrical vehicle fleets really help the company to meet their sustainable goals. And having also this development may also bring the confidence on the consumer side and the passenger's vehicle. Phasing out combustion engine by 2035? Well, initially a really good decision, I assume, especially to push the market to move on. However, there is a lot of debate currently and um, I think there's even rumors that the deadline will be pushed. Therefore, European OEMs are not very motivated to be the first mover, right? And they might lose some market shares if they do so. So many of them who had initially announced that they will phase out between 2030 and 2035 are reconsidering their decision and might even push it further in the future. So all in all, the decision consequences are currently uncertain and they might not be as positive as we were initially expecting.
And of course, all these debates um, do not really help consumers to trust the technology and electrical vehicle markets overall. The biggest levers to make consumers more confident about EVs? I think I would just summarize it into one. It's mainly education. Education has to come from the government, from the dealers, from the manufacturers, from everyone working in the industry who has the knowledge. Currently, information is completely mismatching and it's very confusing for consumers. So in order to gain this confidence, they have to believe that the information is trustworthy. They have to access to reliable data and all of that will help them to solve the remaining myths, which by now are only myths.